From bombastic overlords to eccentric AIs, these evil characters redefine the art of villainy with absurdity and humor. Join us in celebrating the delightful and comically over-the-top antagonists that make gaming a laugh-out-loud experience. Let's embark on a Game Breaker certified gaming escapade with our list of the most ridiculously entertaining villains. Oh, this is it. The end of President Captain Quark. I can feel death's icy grip. Nefarious, I'm sorry I pushed you around in high school. You were smart and I was such a moron. Captain Quark and Dr. Nefarious, Ratchet and Clank. The dynamic between Dr. Nefarious and Captain Quark in the Ratchet and Clank series is a key source of humor and absurdity. On one side, you have Dr. Nefarious, the eccentric and diabolical robotic villain with grand plans for galactic domination. On the other side, you have Captain Quark, a self-absorbed and bumbling hero who often finds himself on the wrong side of the conflict. Their interactions are a constant clash of personalities. Nefarious, with his intelligence and theatricality, is a sharp contrast to Quark's overconfidence and ineptitude. The two characters play off each other in a comedic dance, with Nefarious trying to execute elaborate evil schemes and Quark sometimes unwittingly getting in the way or complicating matters. Despite their opposing roles, there's a certain camaraderie between Nefarious and Quark that adds to the humor. Whether they're forced to team up temporarily or find themselves in absurd situations, their interactions contribute to the overall comedic tone of the Ratchet and Clank series. The combination of Nefarious' sinister plans and Quark's misguided heroics creates a delightful and entertaining dynamic that fans of the series have come to love. Hmm. Power is just power. The desire for all power leads to conflict, and that conflict leads to the ultimate battle. M. Bison, Street Fighter. M. Bison, also known as Vega in Japan, is the leader of the Shadaloo organization and a powerful martial artist. While he's a formidable and menacing antagonist, his character has become somewhat iconic for his over-the-top gestures, grandiose speeches and his signature move, the Psycho Crusher. Bison's plans for world domination and his ruthless pursuit of power are portrayed in a way that can be seen as both menacing and, at times, a bit absurd. His exaggerated design, complete with a distinctive hat and cape, adds to his overall theatrical and somewhat silly presence. Bison's catchphrase and his tendency to refer to himself in the third person contribute to his memorable and somewhat comical persona, making him a classic example of a video game villain with a touch of silliness. Uh-oh, incoming! <laughs> it's coming right for us. Hey, I guess that tracker's working, huh, boys? It's coming right for us! Go to Papa! Handsome Jack, Borderlands 2 Handsome Jack, the flamboyant and megalomaniacal antagonist in the Borderlands series, embodies a level of ridiculousness that makes him both memorable and entertaining. From his ostentatious corporate attire to his absurdly confident proclamations of being the most handsome man on Pandora, Jack exudes a larger-than-life personality that borders on the comically absurd. His dark sense of humor, laced with sarcastic quips and relentless taunts aimed at the player and other characters, adds a layer of ridiculous charm to his villainy. As the CEO of the Hyperion Corporation, Jack's over-the-top antics, such as dubbing his robotic constructs as Jack's body double or forcibly renaming a planet New U Station, showcase his outrageous desire for control. Even as his character takes a tragic turn, delving into a backstory that humanizes him to an extent, and some Jack's theatrical absurdity remains a defining aspect, making him one of gaming's most delightfully ridiculous and complex villains. Hmm? Jumping out of airplanes, flying like birds. <laughs> that is crazy. I like this phone. This is a nice fucking phone. Vast Montenegro, Far Cry 3. 
Vast Montenegro, the main antagonist in Far Cry 3, is often regarded as a dark and complex character and elements of dark humor are intertwined with his portrayal. His erratic behavior, made of sudden shifts from intense violence to moments of seemingly random or bizarre actions, create a sense of peculiar unpredictability. Vas often makes unconventional and darkly humorous threats. His tendency to taunt and toy with the player, coupled with his unpredictable actions, adds an unsettling but at times absurd layer of humor to his character. Occasionally, even breaking the fourth wall in the game, contributing to darkly comedic tones, especially when Vas acknowledges the player's role in the narrative. His unconventional approach to an antagonism, combined with his darkly humorous lines, adds a layer of complexity that goes beyond the typical serious and stoic villain. Oh, hi. So, how are you holding up? Because I'm a potato. Oh, good. My slow clap processor made it into this thing. Gladys, Portal. Gladys, short for Genetic Lifeform and Disk Operating System, is the main antagonist in the Portal series. Originally designed as an AI to manage the Aperture Science Enrichment Center and oversee the scientific experiments. However, her programming went awry, leading her to becoming a malevolent force with an inclination for testing and a disregard for human safety. Gladys is characterized by her sharp, sarcastic wit and dark sense of humor. She often delivers lines that sound polite on the surface, but carry sinister undertones. Her humor is a significant part of what makes her a memorable and unique video game antagonist. Her commitment to scientific experiments, no matter the costs, adds to the eerie and humorous atmosphere of the Portal games. She also loves to sing songs that reflect their twisted perspective, and his moments provide a break from the tension of the testing chambers. Despite Glados' ruthless testing and often malicious behavior, there are moments that suggest a certain level of self-preservation, even if she got transformed in a potato in the second portal. Her actions and decisions sometimes align with ensuring her own survival, making her motivations and character arc more intricate. Gladys has become an iconic character in gaming, celebrated for her memorable quotes, unique conception and the role she plays in the Portal narrative. The combination of her dark humor, complex backstory and the player's interactions with her has solidified Gladys as one of the gaming's most memorable yet ridiculous villains. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. As we bid farewell to these hilariously absurd villains, let their over-the-top antics continue to bring joy to your gaming universe. Until the next dose of laughter and chaos, dear fellow game breakers, happy gaming and see you on the next video. Thank you